But I think the main problem lies within, I think, Niall and Marky. Geek needs Hades back. Uh, I think Niall just needs to mature a bit more. I think he's already a very good jungler right now. Uh, don't, don't discredit Niall, guys. Game number one, he was actually 5-0 and on the Martis, right? So he was actually really good already. But unfortunately, uh, he went for the ranked build, I would say. Uh, the, the ranked build, dude. I don't know why he went for BOD. Like, Hunter Strike? Cool. Uh, first item, that's what you usually go for as Martis anyways. But usually when you go on the Martis, even with the... He also went Assassin Emblem, which is kind of strange. Because in SPS, we've seen Fighter Emblem. We've seen even Tank Emblem from... I forgot who, tank, um, who used the Tank Emblem first. But I remember seeing the Tank Emblem and I was like, Ooh, this was actually good. I think it was Kyrie. Kyrie used the Tank Emblem and got a, got a Maniac. Because Martis is the hardest fall-off jungler best jungler in the early game but when you when you get into the mid to late you're 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 useless well maybe in the mid game you're not completely useless but in the late game you are completely useless dude martis has the hardest fucking fall off of any hero the guy can like martis can get a savage in the early game and be completely useless in the late game that's something you don't see every day for a for for a hero you know and the fact that he went for assassin emblem Plus, he went for Hunter Strike and BOD. Hunter Strike, again, I don't think we'll shit on Hunter Strike. We'll shit on the BOD, though. Like, BOD, god damn. I know you were dominating. I know you were 5-0. and 0, But I think you might want to just go for a little bit more tankiness, you know? I, they weren't going to end the game in the 16th minute, you know? They're not going to steamroll Dewa. So, I don't know. It was a weird move for me to see, um, to see Geek Fam do that. I'm more worried uh, about Marky than I am about Watt. I think the Purify was a good option to go for up against the Chol. But remember, this is Marky on a flicker. And now Leo uh -oh. Murphy understands that. Jumps in. RWM locking him down. Blazing Duet in the final slash. Marky still able to evade for a lot though. But it's still going to be a kill. Who prioritizes that turtle. Let's see in the midside. Penalty zone on the two right now. Locking Beloyski down as Ray moves over. Cutthroat on to the back. Massive. Beloyski getting taken out. Stunned with the flicker. Oh. But in the, in the mid lane, a boy might be in trouble. Oh, it's a dive. Oh, no one's by oh. wings. Nice. Very, very wise. And they are looking for another invade. Let's see. Slam, slam, pass, pass. And that's it. Way the dragon as well. All to Dixon. Everything used up oh. with a decimation. And you're facing gets a fanny. Oh, my goodness. Look. Leo Murphy now caught. Uses vengeance. Final slash as well. But Leo Murphy should fall here. And it's Niall who picks up the kill again. Looking for the position. Pops in the BMI in the back right now. Let's see if Ray can get there. Nope, oh. Niall secures it before he can even reach. Loop with the split split. Now on to Dixon. Dixon brought back to the team right there with a pass pass and a penalty zone. Very aggressively, but he's going to be into the feathered airstrike. Ray jumping into the back right now, but he's going to be oh. locked up with the dragon from Beloisky. And even Watts falls. Boy using that warrior boots also. Oh my goodness. Also, oh my goodness. Gracious. Oh, stunned. Boy though, for the oh. airstrike. Stunning oh. Ray down. He's trying to run away. Niall! Oh, he pops into decimation, but it's only on to Dixon now. To do so by sending the Marxists perhaps oh. downstairs. Good shot, Boo out of the final slash. Bringing Dixon back with away the dragon. Whoa. Holy Beloisky on the Cho. You don't see this a lot. Holding on to Leo Murphy now, looking for more. Slam, slam. Back again, immobilizing him. And with uh -oh. the mounts on the split, split. It's going to be the real Roman Blade. As Ray jumps in deep, finds a boy with a cutthroat now as he goes in for some cables. Uh, I like it. I like it. It's wise. So. That Luke will not be able to just harass. Lane. Now outside of the lane is where I would say Luke has just been shining. And Niall, what the heck? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Hunter Strike and the BOD. That's why he's able to take it so quick. Hunter Strike and BOD is a very aggressive, I would say too aggressive of a build here for Geek Fam Niall. But I think this is just his play style. He wants to go for a kill as well with that Steel Leg Blades. But is that enough? Oh! Though? Look at the purple! Oh pop. my goodness! Beloisky! With a Jikundo flicker! Uh, Beloisky's gonna be caught for a bit. Leo Murphy's looking for the final slash. Able to find Marky right now. It's a real world manipulation. And even the penalty zone gets at it. Marky falls here. Beloisky's next on the chopping block, but he's able to dash out of the wall. Beloisky looking for engage with his skill. Okay. That's a charge down in the bottom lane. They don't even need someone to help out. Way the dragon onto Leo Murphy. Beloisky now caught penalty zone. Gonna be able to lock him down for a bit. He has the immortality though. Loses it here. Let's see if they can actually take him down with the real Roman Blade. Marky is in the midst of it all right now. Jumps in with the nature, but it gets cut down. 
And now it's gonna be a blazing duet. Oh, and right now, Blois doing a good job Ooh. at doing exactly that. Lee Murphy finding the opening penalty zone, and even oh. the final slash into the real world manipulation. Right. It's an AOE battle. One of the back dealing damage now jumping back to the BMI, but they're all still caught in the real world manipulation as Luke mounts it back. Ray is able to find a cut through to the back. Lee Murphy with a good stun onto Beloy, who now uses the shampoo. Able to escape for a bit. Luke now getting chased down. Another final slash onto Niall. He loses his immortality. He buys the winner punch at both Luke and Niall, but it is inevitable. Sam United are taking them out one by one. Heck, they even got the Evolved Lord. As SOS. I said, man, as I said, the discipline is not there for Kick Fam. They have all the tools to make a force error from DIY United Esports. They have all the wins, but they're still trying to end here. Oh. Winner Truncheon used up by a boy. He's made it out and in the black. You oh. can't sell anything for the immortality. It's a wipeout. Whenever you count DIY out is when they strike. One zero. He choked! What he happened? choked him big time, and this is why the Lord Dance is important. Ray, he showed it in the map bottom side, but again, he just slowly push it. He, he doesn't clear for clear the full wave, he goes back and rotates back, and that is the signal for DIY United that they're ready to fight. Meanwhile, if you see the members of Geekfam, they're quite scattered, Shepin. I don't see coordination in that Lord's Dance fight. I don't understand. I really don't understand. They have the utility jungler too. They can freeze the Lord as long as possible with, you know, Nile tanking all the damage from the Lord. Meanwhile, Devil United cannot do that. Oh. What's the... What's the point there? Like, don't cry, Shepin. It's okay here. Grab no, 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 tissue. no. Like, I'm, I'm still positive. Like, there's still a lot of um, positives that can be taken from Big Fam, especially in the early to mid game. It's just the execution, the late game. This is what separates an elite team and a good team. I think you we know. need to talk a little bit about that itemization from Niall because I think it was very greedy. greedy? The BOD? No, like, no, it's not aggressive. It's just greedy. Just yeah. straight the BOD? Up greedy. The BOD. Uh, well, the killing spree, um, the assassin emblem already started off very greedy. You mentioned it. But transitioning into a damage build when you're not super far ahead. 5 is 0 is very ahead, but still with 5 0. Remember, Martis is probably the hardest fall-off hero in Mobile Legends. Yeah. You can dominate and get a Savage in the 10 minute of the game, lose the game. But once you get to 15 minute, you're done. You're useless. <laughs> I would actually say that, you know, aside from contesting neutral objectives, in these skirmishes, when the enemy team is able to finally take in and soak in your mortal coil and your basic attacks, you're kind of useless, right? So it's all about that early game and then transitioning into a tank. But Niall was greedy. He wanted to end in the mid game. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And as Zane said, uh, too, right? 